Good evening. My name is Kadria Ahmed and this is Straight Talk. My guest on today's program was born in Kiagbodo in present-day Delta State and has held prominent positions including that of Senator and Federal Minister of Information. At 86, many would consider him to be in his dotage, but this does not seem to have slowed him down and he continues to be very vocal on national issues. He does not shy away from controversy and has been known to publicly castigate prominent Nigerians, including, most recently, former President Olusegun Obasanjo. As a vociferous supporter of Nigeria's current leader, President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, he is particularly unforgiving of those who criticize the president and was recently quoted as saying, anyone who fights the president is fighting God. In the media, my guest is often described as elder statesman, Ijo leader, and nationalist. Today, I'm talking with Chief Edwin Clark. Thank you, sir, for coming on the program. Thank you very much. Like I said in my introduction, often the media describes you as elder statesman and also Ijo nationalist. How would you describe yourself? Firstly, thank you very much. I'm a Nigerian. I regard myself as a, a Nigerian elder statesman and a senior, a senior citizen of this country. I do not describe myself as a jaw leader. Others may call me jaw leader. I've had people crit, criticizing me, saying all sorts of nonsense about self style jaw leader. I'm not a self-styled Ijo leader. My own people called me their leaders. I have not one day I told people I'm Ijo leader. I don't. I'm a Nigerian. Does the fact of you being Ijo have any bearing at all in what you do, in your politics and in the way you conduct yourself? Before I discuss anything, I must have regard to my background. And so, if I'm in a job, man, anything that affects the job affects me. There have been huge outcries over all sorts of things going on in this government, most recently over what is happening in the NMPC. The 20 billion that the CBN, ousted CBN governor, alleges has been stolen or has gone missing in the NMPC. What is your stance regarding this particular issue and all the other myriad cases? of corruption that have been labeled against this particular administration? The, this administration came into being. That's, is it 2010? And the, the president was elected 2011. You will agree with me that there has been corruption in this country over the years. So does that mean and, No, I'm talking? coming. I'm coming. I am not, I'm not supporting Mr. President about corruption, all I'm saying is that if there are cases of corruption, bring them out, deal with them. I felt that it was too slow. He did it act quickly. When the Minister of Aviation was found wanting, to, if you wanted to sack her, you could have sacked her earlier. I don't support those cases. And I'm one of those who said corruption has gone to the bottom of our life. What would you recommend? And therefore, the NPC? listen, I'm not, no, I'm not here alone to talk about the NPC. I'm one of those who believe that corruption has been eating our life in this country. Something drastic has to be done. If we possibly declare a state of emergency on corruption, coming back to what you are saying, the, the, the governor of the central bank, first of all, told Nigerians that NNPC squandered, refused to pay into the federation account 
the sum of about 49 billion naira dollars. And if you know about that such amount, there will be no money remaining in this country. But on his own, he confessed that the amount was not up to that. He talked about 12 billion. Well, NFPC talked about 10 billion. Later, he came to say it is now 20 billion dollars. But the federal government, this letter he wrote to Mr. President was linked to the former head of state, president of this country, Obasanjo. So you believe there's conspiracy? That's what there's conspiracy, the political conspiracy. So, the government as a political body too, hit back. As I know, see, they set up a body before that probed him and made very damaging reports about him. What, what the no, 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 no. said on that matter is that there are investigations going on. The investi he, no, there, there's a, that, and, listen, that is what a, a report, said. you want me to bring the report? A report was submitted to Mr. President and President has a duty to find out more about that report. The report found Sanusi guilty. I have not heard the presidency say he's been found guilty. Is it my, I'm not the president. I'm a lawyer. Listen, what I have seen the report. What? The report found Sanusi guilty. What Nigerians have and what president said? The president. No, listen. Have to step aside while investigations take place because it is not right. That yes, but be because his president set up an inquiry. It is the duty of Mr. President to investigate further. Meanwhile, you step aside. And people thought that President had no power to do that. President said, I have the authority, without, I have the power. Without going into the details of whether Sanusi is guilty or not, because this is, this is not about Sanusi. Shouldn't the rules apply equally? Why did the Petroleum Minister not step down while they investigate the NSA? Which body, which is body probably are? The, no, 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 not because he's an Ijo. This is the mistake you people are making. If because Jonathan is an Ijo man and, and in running the federal government, because he has, never, he has not helped Ijo people, we are not happy. No Ijo man in this government. No Ijo man uh, has oil block. No Ijo man is lift oil. Which Ijo woman is controlling the petroleum? Which one? Well, what look, look man and Ijo man? No. Is Lukman and Jama? No. Jibir Amin and Jama? No. Ribadu, um, uh, Buhari Jama? Okay, so... These were petroleum ministers. We're talking about... Who are houses of Fulani. So we're talking about today. And today, we're which about, today? Yes, because, about yes. What is happening today? If accusations... What, Mr. Basa, what of uh, President of Basanjo, who appointed himself? Minister of Petroleum. Okay, so are you saying what of Yaradwa who appointed himself Minister of Petroleum? Okay, so you're saying because they did it, it is okay for President Jonathan to do the same. To That's do what? To do what? No, did they, because I'm no, asking, no, to do what? I'm asking you. You what? have not told me what Jonathan has done. Huh? That the uh, Bayasa says should not have a minister. No, that's not And Bayasa says the person should not be no, a minister of petroleum. I am asking you whether the standards, a tete, a tete whether the standards that were used to judge Sanusi should not be applied to the listen, petroleum minister. Dan Etete was a Bayasa man. He was appointed by Abacha. Is it because a, a, a Bayasa man appointed a Bayasa lady? Let me rephrase There is no way. Let me rephrase the question. Listen. You said you care about corruption. Yes. And corruption, it is important. It is the bane of this society that we get rid of it and that you will line up behind the fight against corruption. Yes. And what I am asking is if you are fighting corruption, shouldn't the standards be the same across the world? Have you not heard Mr. President said yesterday that forensic investigation should be done? Should that to probe the 20 billion which Sanusi mentioned. With the minister the, still sitting there. there, no, there is no accusation. There is no accusation against the minister that you are returned to. She has appeared before them in the house. Nobody has accused him that you are the one who is corrupt. Let's take a quick break.